Right, I'm out here on site. About to wait um, a few days, actually, about five or six days. It was windy and rainy and horrible. Anyway, so it's a nice day today. So we've come out to the first location, which is about three miles uh, from base. Um, we've got all we've got all three radios. We've got the uh, TH21, FT23, and new FT70D, which you've seen if you've watched some of my recent videos. You've seen this video more recently. So I thought I'd bring these three radios out, as they're all probably you know good brand radios. And it'd be really interesting to see how well the Kenwood performs this old radio after having really not a screwdriver in it or anything done to it. So let's uh, go and test. Right, we're about three miles away then. So this is the FT70D. This is G7 LNK Mobile with the ACF. FT70D at location A testing. 123455 The quick bound fox jumps over the lazy dog. Right, we've got the uh, adapter now, but we've got the FT23R antenna, so an old antenna. Let's give this a go. This is G7 LNK Mobile with the Kenwood TH21AT at location A. A Mobile with the Kenwood TH21AT at location A. Testing uh, about a watt. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Right, the FT23R, a radio John McLean could have used if your AC would have pumped up the cash. They probably didn't want to. This is G7 LNK Mobile. G7 LNK Mobile with the Yesu FT23R, the two meter radio. At location A, approximately three miles. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Right, we're going to see if we can get Mick. This is G7 LNK Mobile with the Yesu FT70D doing a VHF test with Mick about three miles away. I uh, wonder if you're there, G0LDB, G7LNK Mobile. Yep, G0LDB, Mick, 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 Waterfort spectrum scope underneath as well, Paul. So that would be quite that's quite handy to see. So yes, looking good. G zero LDB. Okay, Mick, it's really cold out here. Cold out here, so we'll move on to the next radio. If you can just stand by there, and give me a second to swap over, and we'll try the uh, the Kenwood there. Change of plan. We're going with the Yesu FD twenty three R. Right, change of plan, Mick. We're going with the Yesu FT23R. How are you receiving me there? Yeah, okay. You're 20, about 20 over 9 with me at the distance we're at at the moment. So, yeah, I'm picking you up well. Uh, this is the Yesu FT23R. I was just turning the volume up a bit there, Mick. Uh, I didn't realise it was so low down. So we're on full power with the Yesu FT23R, which probably means about two or three watts, go ahead. Right, let's try this Kenwood. I'm hoping for great things. <laughs> this is G7 LNK now testing the Kenwood TH2180. How are you getting me there, Mick? G0 LDB, returning yet? DB, returning yet? About nine. You're a little bit lower in uh signal strength. Audio is fine, but you are down a little bit in uh, signal strength, but you, you did say you were coming back on, uh, was it milliwatts on that one? Yeah, G7 LNK returning, that's right Mick. Yeah, that's right Mick, yeah, about 750 milliwatts. Um, I purposely left, let this 8.4 volt battery, but I purposely let it drain down a little bit to make it a fair comparison. The original battery pack on this radio is 7.2. So, uh, yeah, we're probably doing about 800, but this, the antenna, the FT23R antenna is... ...is not the best. Yeah, okay, all copied on that. It's, uh... It's, uh... You're readable, fully readable, there's no need to worry about it. You know, it's, um... I wouldn't... I wouldn't say, uh, can you go again? <laughs> As they do sometimes, five and nine, can you go again? <laughs> G0 LDB. Ah, Roger, positive. Okay, well that, that's a good test then. 
Um, what I'll do, if, you, if you've got a second, is I'll, I've got a longer antenna for this. I'm going to put the longer antenna on to see if it makes any difference on this radio, if that's OK. We'll also do this on this radio at the other location as well. I'm not going to do it with the 23R and the 70D because they've got more power, but just wanted, I just out of interest wanted to see if it perks this up a bit. So if you could stand by, we'll try that. Right, we've got a, a, a cheap antenna. This isn't an expensive one, it's a Nagoya copy. But we'll try this to see if it helps. Okay, this is G7LNK Mobile with the Kenwood TH2180 with the extended antenna on. Has that made any difference, Mick? G0 LDB returning. Yes, that's a lot better. Excellent. Um, go again and I'll give you a signal strength on that, Paul. This is G7 LNK Mobile. Mobile with the TH21AT Kenwood radio from 1988 or 89, I think, out at location A, VHF testing 1234554321. Right, we're going to go. Uh, going to go to the second location. Um, I'm going to try and uh, have a little conversation with Mick Mobile hand with the handy as I uh, drive along. See how that works. Uh, might be interesting. And then uh, we'll do a test from the second location. Uh, start. Um, so this is G7 LNK Mobile, hand portable inside the car with the Yaesu FD70D. The Yaesu FD70D just on some high ground the other side of Middleton. Um, hopefully you're getting me okay. Running probably about four watts out of this uh, more up-to-date handheld, and we'll see how the older handhelds go when we get to sight there, Mick. How's, how am I sounding now? And yeah, you're reaching five on the scale. Uh, I'm still on five watts, and I'm on the ribbon antenna. Right, we're out at location B. Um, I've had a chat with Mick, it was a bit patchy. Bear in mind I'm sat in the car. Uh, Mick's got two antennas back at base. He's got a ribbon antenna in the loft and he's also got a collinear on the roof and we're probably gonna swap around a little bit between the two, but hopefully we shouldn't have any problems. Uh, VHF behaving nicely today. Dropped ourselves in just above the beacons here in the UK on 144 500 right next to them uh, but it's a nice clear empty slot so uh, and there's not much QRM around today I checked it on the SDR so um, I'm hoping that all these radios perform well from here so yeah I'm quite quite pleased a lot better the, uh, the, than it was the other day when I came out here where v conditions on VHF weren't as good so um, we'll see if we can get hold of Mick and we'll test all three radios again right let's see if we can get him on the FT70D I'm sure would we'll be good this is G7 LNK Mobile, G7 LNK Mobile with the Yaesu FT70D. Location B, approximately seven miles, VHF testing, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Are you about, Mick? G7 LNK, G0 LDB returning. Returning, yes. Uh, good signal. Uh, seven on the, the meter. Good audio, Paul quite good audio so uh, no bother there okay mick i'm just going to try this knocking it down to low power to the lowest setting okay just stand by right this is g7 lnk mobile with the acuft 70d on. on the low power setting the lowest power setting how is that mick g0 ldb returning yeah you've dropped down to three but you're still good audio it's a it's quieter but still readable for G0 LDB. All right, let's try the FT23R. This is G7 LNK uh, mobile with the Yaesu FT23R location. Our location B, approximately seven miles. VHF testing, one, two, three, four, five. How's that sounding, Mick? G0 LDB, return it. I've just had the phone ring then. You always get one of them in the middle of a video, don't you? <laughs> Yeah, you're fine. Uh, five. Signal strength five, but audio good. And I take it, is that on the long antenna on that one, Paul? No, negative, negative. This negative, negative. This is on the stock antenna, which is known to be a little bit weak on this. So uh, I think on the long antenna we'll be okay. No need to swap over. I'll just try it on low power, Mick, as we've been doing that. So just stand by one second. 
Right, this is G7 LNK Mobile with the ACUF T23R on low power, low power. G7 LNK Mobile with the ACUF T23R on low power, low power. How's that sounding, Mick? Yep, G0 LDB, returning. It's still good audio, uh, but down to three, down on three, the signal scale. But fully readable on the audio. We got the Kenwood with the uh, FT23R antenna. This is G7 LNK Mobile with the Kenwood TH2080. How's that sounding, Mick? Yeah, G0 LDB returning. You're coming up to five on the scale. Uh, oh, good audio, but it's a little bit bassy compared to the other. Little bit bassy. G0 LDB. G7 LNK Mobile returning. Okay, mate. I'll um, I'll try. This may be on low power. Hang on, stand by. Uh, this is on high power, so we're going to switch this uh, down to low power mix. Stand by one sec. Okay, this is G7 LNK Mobile. Freezing cold. Returning uh, using the Kenwood uh, TH2180 uh, on low power. On very low power, this mix. So I wonder how you're picking me up now. Go ahead. It's just over the two on the signal scale, just over the two. The audio still readable. A little bit of white noise approaching, but fully readable audio. Right, we've got the longer antenna here. Okay, so this is G7 LNK Mobile with the Kenwood TH2180 on low power, which is probably about 50 milliwatts. <laughs> With the longer antenna on, Mick, has that brought the signal up? Go ahead. It's brought the signal up to about four, but still fully readable. Four on the signal scale and still readable. Oh, Rog, well, that's, I think that's uh, super successful then, isn't it? Um, you know, uh, VHF con conditions obviously really good today, and you're a really nice signal here. Um, can you just um, uh, confirm the radio you're using at your end, please? The Yaesu FT991A on VHF at 5 watts. I can take it lower if you want me to. G0 LDB. Right, we've got the longer antenna on the FT70D here. This is G7 LNK Mobile. Mobile with the FT70D. I'm just going to put the power up there. Mick, I've got the longer antenna on now. Yeah, that was low power there, Mick. I've just uh, moved it up onto high power. How am I now? Yes, that's nine on the scale. Nine on the scale, Paul. Yeah, so this antenna, as cheap as it is, does make quite a difference, doesn't it? It's at least a couple of uh, S points on the meter there. Would you agree? Exactly. What antenna is it, by the way? You didn't say. You just said it was a... I've forgotten now. Yeah, it's just a, a cheap Nagoya. Nagoya, a cheap Nagoya copy. That's all. It's um, nothing special. I think it's one that came bundled with one of my other radios. Uh, so I'm not sure, but it um, it seems to work. All right, there, Mick. Um, you might get better performance out of a real one, but. Uh it seems to be working, doesn't it? Well, I'm super impressed with this old radio. Not bad, is it? Not bad. I, mean, I guess this radio might be older than some of you guys watching. Um, I think manufacturer on this was 1988. So I was now but a wee nipper when this uh, this came out. And um, yeah, so maybe maybe John McLean could have got that performance. I mean, uh, certainly a very good receive on this as well as transmit, even on the low power setting. Uh, Mick is seven miles away. And he's got two antennas, a collinear and a ribbon antenna out in the garden. And, and it was he was still picking us up on the low power setting on this radio. So, um, I mean, the TH21BT is very, very hard to get hold of. And uh, obviously that's why I made the replica of it, um, just for a prop to have on the shelf. Um, but if you, it, but the TH21 AT is still a solid little radio, and you can easily populate the battery packs with new batteries, as you've seen, and um, and bring these up. And they're, they're a real workhorse, uh, you know. These and they're tough. They're really, really, really tough little radio. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed these series of tests and the my escapades with the escapades with the Kenwood uh, TH range of radios. And remember, kids, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. 
please like and subscribe and hit the little notification bell so you can keep an eye out for the next video where we look at assembling the TH21BT and we have lots of fun making some other props. Anyway, if you have been, thanks ever so much for watching. Uh, please keep an eye on the channel. Loads more exciting content coming your way and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.